Hello, and welcome back to the Ashlands. Today we'll be talking about the foot soldiers of Valheim's new biome, the Chard. There are four variants of this enemy, the Warrior, the Marksman, the Warlock, and the Twitcher. All four are resistant to pierce, very resistant to fire, and immune to poison. However, they are weak to spirit damage, and the Warlock picks up an additional resistance to frost damage. The Warrior and Warlock both have 600 health, while the Marksman and Twitcher have 200 and 220 respectively. The first three have various pieces of armor that they can spawn in with. Each piece has an armor value of 60. However, after testing, it appears that armor on an enemy is purely cosmetic at the moment, and the armor value is ignored. All four have a 50% stagger limit, meaning that they can be parried. The warrior is my favorite to fight with its four attacks. A swing dealing 150 slash, a thrust with 160 pierce, a feint dealing 130 slash, and a thrust feint dealing 160 pierce. Given this, your most protective armor overall is the root chest plate with heavy armor for this variant. However, given the greater variance in damage and the amount of fire in the Ashlands, I would recommend sticking with heavy armor if you haven't recently downed a fire resistance wine. When it comes to the Marksman variant, however, the benefit of the root chest plate becomes much more pronounced. Despite this, the fire of the Ashlands still poses the same threat without a fire resistance potion, and so it still may not be your best option. This significant increase in protection for the root chest plate when it comes to the Marksman variant is due to the fact that both the Marksman's attacks deal exclusively pierce damage. The first attack, named Bow in the Files, deals 200 pierce damage. The second attack is a volley, which shoots 10 arrows in a wide area, each dealing 180 pierce. The Warlock variant can cast fireballs each of which do 100 pierce, 20 blunt, and 70 fire damage. On top of that, the Warlock can also summon special Twitchers, making it the priority to eliminate this variant. The summoned Twitchers are the same as the normal ones, except they are green and only have 50 health instead of the normal 220. Speaking of Twitchers, they have three attacks. A left and right scratch, both of which deal 100 slash, and their other attack is a throw, which deals 75 pierce and 95 blunt. For both the Warlock and Twitcher variants, the most protective armor overall is the Heavy Armor. Against all four variants, of course, the Magic Set still remains a viable option if it better suits your playstyle. Since Warlocks only seem to spawn in the Fortresses, your most protective option overall against the Chard while wandering around in the Ashlands is certainly a Root Chestplate. However, that option is ill-advised due to the environment if you forgo the Fire Resistance Wine. But now that you can survive a Chard, how do you kill them? When first entering the Ashlands, your highest damage, and my personal favorite option, is the Krom. However, I'll typically forgo the Barbarian Aesthetic and use the Frostner or Mistwalker as they'll slow the char down a bit while you fight them. Once you get into Ashlands level gear, your highest DPS option is the Scourging Slayer. However, Nidhogg the Thundering may be more practical given its ability to hold a shield, or the Clawson given its ability to freeze the enemy. While the Mistwalker certainly also remains a viable option at this stage due to the frost effect. When it comes to bows, the Spine Snap and later the Stormfang are definitely the best options. Pairing that with the best arrows, we have the Frost Arrow as the ammo of choice. However, the Silver Arrow technically has the highest damage when it comes to the Warlock, but I tend to still go with the Frost Arrow as it slows the enemy down. When it comes to Crossbow, the Lightning variant is always a good option. But with magic weapons, it's a bit more of a toss-up and a bit more subjective. I like the shotgun staff though, and the staff of embers typically doesn't do a whole lot. But now that you've killed them, what do they drop? The warrior, marksman, and warlock each drop 1-3 to three charred bones, and they have a 5% chance to drop their respective trophies. The twitcher, however, lacks its own trophy, and drops 1-2 to two charred bones upon death. With that, we've covered every aspect of fighting the new charred enemies. If you found this video helpful, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons, as it will help others to find this video. Happy gaming, and don't get charred in the Ashlands.